again, let's look at this graph. So the first thing you need to do here is look at whether you're using new words. If it's a yes, the next question is, can you verify the output or the source? And as I mentioned earlier, Amina had verified her own source. She had written her own essay. And if it's a yes, you can use AI with supervision. And if it's a no, you cannot use AI. So basically, again, if you're writing a literature review, you need to know your sources to be safe. So you need to read the PDFs. You need to know where you're pulling your data from. And if you can verify your sources, you can use AI basically with supervision. And then going down here, if it's your, is it your idea? So let's say you wrote this idea on your own. You're not actually using a PDF or a previously published paper to build your idea. So why do you use pre previously published papers at the first place? It's because whenever you're writing your literature review, you need to first, you need, so there's a term called you stand on the shoulders of giants. So you first need to acknowledge what has been done in this topic area. But let's say you're writing something new, you wrote it yourself, but you're using AI to improve that text. If it is your idea, you don't need you you don't need to cite basically you are not plagiarizing but if you are using the ideas mentioned in another paper or they were or you read them somewhere then you need to you are paraphrasing at that time and hence you need to cite and now let's go this way so basically if you are not using new words and you are using words exactly as they are then you need to use quotation marks that's all this is saying okay if you use quotation marks you're not plagiarizing. And if you do not use quotation marks, you're plagiarizing. So you need to go and quote it. And in addition to that, you need to cite it. Mm -hmm.